This giant fluffy cloud has not been groomed in over a year. This is Duke. He is the hairiest Great Pyrenees I've ever seen, and he's about to give you all the Fernado of a lifetime. But first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to support the channel and see more snazzy dogs like Duke. Okay, you giant beast. You giant hairy beast. Are you gonna be okay? Hmm? Okay, so we have a 180 pound Great Pyrenees. He's a really big dog, but he is certainly also overweight. I'm bathing him in nasty critter shampoo. To start with de-shedding shampoo, he is blowing a lot of coat today, an insane amount of coat. So this is going to be one incredible before and after. I've never done him before, don't know how he is. Hopefully he'll be okay. So I'm gonna start first with the bath and then I'm gonna do something a little different with him today to try and blow out his coat um, because it's so densely compacted. I think I might have some issues if I don't try this idea that I have. Okay, so turn it to soap and let's see how this goes today. Good boy. This has gotta be the fluffiest Great Pyrenees that I have ever seen. He has so much hair, it's insane. And I have no idea what's been going on lately, but apparently a lot of people with livestock guardian dogs have seen my videos and now I just keep getting tons of them. Good boy. He has been to the groomer before. I've been told that groomers don't have any issues working on him, so he shouldn't have any aggression issues. He should be really good, thankfully, because I'm alone today. A lot of people have been leaving comments asking why I don't really groom small dogs or dogs that get haircuts, you know, dogs that don't shed. And the answer to that is simply that I enjoy the extra large de-shed dogs more than I enjoy any other type of groom. And now that I get to pick and choose what kind of grooms I get to do, I prefer to pick the ones that I really enjoy over the ones that I don't mind doing, but don't particularly love doing. There is something about doing big, heavy shedding dogs that have really awesome before and afters. My back doesn't love me for it, but I will do them for as long as I can physically. Right? And a lot of people don't wanna do them, so it's good because you need to have groomers that enjoy doing things that other groomers don't like doing so that these dogs have somewhere to go. It's going to be crazy how much hair comes out of you, man. It's going to be very satisfying. He does not want me to do his chest, which is really unfortunate because that is the worst part of his body, I think. It's very, very dirty. I'm gonna have to do it, I'm sorry. Okay, so we've done three canisters of shampoo so far. I think I'm going to give him a rinse down first before I do the whitening shampoo. Sorry, bud, you can't, you can't push me into the corner though. That's not acceptable. Oh, you're gonna shake. You are so full of vegetation from the outdoors. It's quite funny. Oh God, man, don't back me into this corner. Sorry, I have to push you. You're gonna squish me. Okay. This back end here is in really bad shape. Hopefully I don't have to shave it, but it is a possibility. It's very, very matted. 
buddy. Oh, you have poop all over your butt. You're a mess. You are quite the mess. It's got a lot of stuff in his bib here that I don't know I'm gonna be able to get out in the bath. Might have to get it out with a blow dryer and brush. Can you turn this way? Turn! Do his face. It's gonna shake probably. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Good boy. Please don't shake yet. Oh man, you are something. I'm gonna use this straight hose. I wanna make sure we're getting all the way down to the skin, so I really wanna do a good soaking job. Buddy, I gotta see your back end, I'm sorry. You gotta let me see it. Mr. Man, what have you been up to? I have a feeling that once this dog is down, it's not getting back up. Okay, Chris Christensen, white on white which is a purple whitening shampoo. It's like putting chocolate syrup on ice cream, only purple.
what I was going to do today, I was going to condition him all over and then use my high velocity dryer to blow the conditioner through his coat. The problem is, is that if he doesn't stand, it's going to be very hard to do that, but it's also going to be very hard to get the conditioner out of his coat if he doesn't stand. And that's not going to be beneficial. So I might have no choice but to not do that today. That would have been really good for blowing out his coat, but also getting that bad matted area in his back to loosen up a bit. And I might not be able to do that now. I don't know. I'll see if I can get him to stand again. Come on. Up, up. Let's go. Up, up, up. Good boy. Come on. No. Okay. So there is no chance that this dog is going on my table because he can't stand. So if I try to pick him up and turn him around to do the other side, it's going to be impossible. So he is going to yet again be another Pyrenees that I do solely on the ground. I'm gonna towel dry him as best I can in the shower and then I'm gonna use my blow dryer in the shower in the hopes that I can contain as much of that hair as possible inside the shower as opposed to outside of it. Hopefully after he has a good rest of sitting, he'll be able to get up afterwards and I'll be able to do his back end. I'm not conditioning him today because if I condition him, the fact that he won't stand up, I will never be able to rinse the conditioner out of his coat. Let's towel you dry, buddy. And then you're gonna stay in here because you do not wanna go on the table. Hopefully you'll lay down in here. Well, you smell a lot better. Well, now that he's standing, I might as well try to get some more water out of him. You would run away so I can't get your back end. <laughs> you, you're a jerk.
literally have no words I have never seen I don't think so much hair come off a dog ever okay he's finally dry I'm gonna spray him down in the stuff for dogs I tried putting him on the table that worked for about five minutes and then he laid down and nearly broke the bar so we're just gonna do him on the ground and I'll break my back instead great and then I'm gonna go through him with the dematter and of course the coral slicker brush. He's probably going to move excessively because that's what he likes doing is moving and moving and moving and moving, right? Good boy, Duke, good boy. He's been a really good dog. He's just uncomfortable, doesn't want to stand, and all that stuff, so whatever. When I was blow drying him, he kept going into the shower, and the shower was wet, and I tried to dry the floor off, but it was not drying. And he just kept going into the shower over and over and over again, so I had to put chairs there to prevent him from continuously going in it because he just kept getting wet again, over and over again. His coat is in fairly good condition. Most of it blew out. I just need to get through a little bit of this matting first with the dematter before I brush with the slicker brush. I wish he would lay down because my job would be a lot easier if he would just lay down, but he doesn't want to lay down. No, you don't want to lay down. And it's making it more work for me. It's got some mats behind his ears. I'm just gonna shave those out with a 10. Shave his sanitary so that he doesn't keep peeing all over himself because that's gross.
well, considering you won't lay down, I feel like nails and paws are probably gonna go the same way. I don't wanna do them like this though. Cause I don't wanna get any of them too short. Hmm? I might get them too short if I do them like this. Cause I can't see. This is not going to work, sir. Can you lay down? Lay down, come on, come on, lay down. Come on, let's go down, go down, lay down. Good boy, lay down. Come on, lay down. Hey, can you lay down, please? Come on, sit. Sit your big butt down. Trim those up as best I can. I guess I will be trimming just the top of his paws and not shaving them because if he won't let me lift his paw like this. Oh, now you're gonna let me? Wow. Okay, I'm gonna do all the tops of his paws first and then I'm gonna try to shave them. It's the only thing when you take old large dogs like this that are here for a while they can only handle so much until they can't and you have to know when to call it quits as long as the dog is not matted and all the undercoat is removed that's really the most important part this dog did have some long dew claws that definitely needed to be clipped so i'm glad i was able to clip them but shaving the paw pads is not a necessity yes it would prevent him from slipping on the floor inside their home, but I can only do it if he lets me do it. I'm not fighting him while he's tripping, trying to stay stable on three legs. That's not fair to him. Can you let me shave them? Good boy. Good boy. Okay, buddy, you're all finished. Yep. Give you some cologne. Good dog. This dog not only changed color, but he also looks like he's lost around 20 pounds. Turns out he wasn't that chubby. He was mostly fluffy. His groom took a total of four hours, and now he's ready to take a stroll down the red carpet. If you liked this video, please do me a solid and hit that subscribe or follow button. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this epic fernado and stunning transformation. I'll see you all next week.